हेलो एवरीवन इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोसेस मॉडल्स इन दैट वी हैव सीन दैट व्हाट टाइप्स ऑफ मॉडल्स वी आर हैविंग इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द व्हाट इज द बेसिक मॉडलिंग प्रोसीजर वी नीड टू फॉलो व्हेन वी आर मॉडलिंग द एनी सिस्टम सो देर आर मेन बेसिकली देर आर सिक्स पॉइंट्स देर आर दिस प्रोसीजर होल प्रोसीजर इज डिवाइडेड इन सिक्स पॉइंट्स दीज आर फर्स्ट इज goals definition second is information preparation third one is model formulation fourth one is solution determination fifth one is result analysis and sixth one is model validation that means whole modeling procedure is from defining your goals to the validate your model so there are few points in each process that what you needs to do when you are going to model any process or when you are uh, what is the basic modeling modeling procedure you need to approach so first is goals definition the first point in goals definition is specific design decisions numerical values functional relationship and required accuracy then what are the different goals you set to model your process what are the different types of goals you need to set to define your process like specific decisions numerical values functional relationship and require accuracy now second is information preparation in information preparation sketch process and identify the system if you are defining any modeling process then first you need to identify your system here you have done the literature survey now your uh, main process in information preparation is what is the basic need of your system first you need to identify your whole system identify variable of interest what variable you want to control in the system that maybe this whole process can also be called as a basic research process the modeling procedure is same in the research for first you have done the literature survey then you come on the information preparation in that you first identify your system <coughs> second you identify the variable of interest and third you identify the assumptions and data if you are having any data from the literature you can assume as a reference point and you can identify your system or variable of interest what you need to control in your process now third is model formulation now in model formulation you need to define your model so it is based on some conservation balances or some type of constitute equations or rationalization combination of in, uh, equations and the collecting terms or degree of freedom or dimensional what are the basic dimensions of your formulations so this is uh, these are the steps in the model formulation now fourth is the solution determination now what are the basic control strategy you need to follow either you are following some type of analytical method or you are following the numerical method in next unit we are going to see the different types of control strategy for controlling the behavior of process or non linear behavior is there linear behavior the is there of the process so how we can approach to the different types of control strategy in next unit we are going to see so this type of what type of your uh, control strategy you are following either it is analytical that determination is analytical or numerical that comes under the solution determination now the fifth point is result analysis in result analysis you check result or corrections limiting and approximate answers accuracy of numerical methods interpret the result that uh, in that plot solution characteristics behavior like oscillation or extrema related result and evaluate sensitivity so main basic two points in result analysis are check results for corrections and interpret results that means if you identify certain set of results certain set of uh, data by following all these basic procedures 
then you first you need to check any correction in the result or if you are interpret your result then you have to compare with some you need to check the accuracy of those those result by following the this points now next is model validation that means final output your of your process modeling in model validation there are three main basic points these are select key values for validation compare with experimental results and the third one is compare compared with results from more complex process that means how you validate your process output you have followed all five procedures now you came back to that whatever the output you are getting either it is validate or not how you can check that with the help of uh, comparing your output with certain set of experimental data that your readings are correct or not or compare result from more complex process if you are you have done the literature survey in that output is already there for some com complex process so you can compare your result from those literature so how can you validate your model that comes under process of model validation so these are the basic steps involved this six step basic six steps involved in the modeling procedure so you need to follow this process when you are defining any model or if you are defining any modeling procedure then you need to follow this six steps thank you